Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Okay, really quick, I just got home and <clears throat> I'm a little sick right now, as you guys seen from my previous video, so I don't look all that great today. And I wanted to really fast before I lay down, because um, I do have to lay down, have to work tomorrow. Um, I went to Target and I got a couple of items, so I want to show you guys really quickly. Hold on, I gotta go in my kitchen real quick. Okay guys, um, hope this don't fall. Oh, I got a piece of that. So, I went to Target. I got my favorite water. Um, well, this is my prebiotic poppy water. Um, I can only get, you can only get this, well, for me, I can only get this at Target. And this is a prebiotic water, good for your gut's health. And it's very important. Um, I went to Target. I spent like, um, hold on, really quick. I tinkle a little bit. So, I got some Daya cheesecake, and this is vegan cheesecake. I wouldn't dare get regular cheesecake. And I got these strawberries. Well, my friend went and got strawberries at Walmart so I could top my strawberry cheesecake with strawberries. And I can eat it. See, it's all dairy free. They even spell it different. And these were like $8. This is plant based, dairy, and soy free. Um,. Gluten-free, non-GMO, it's all good shit. Even Walmart sells, like, the Daya brand. Like, I get the pizzas and these. Like I said, I'm not 100% vegan yet. Like, I'm slowly, slowly getting there. Like, I don't want to send my body into shock to just go. You know what I mean? Like, I have to slowly transition back into being vegan. So, I'm slowly getting things that, you know... That way I can just, you know, it's something I haven't tried. Oh, yeah. I haven't tried this yet. So, I also have, this bakes 12 cookies. These were $8. Um, so, this is a dozen non-GMO, plant-based, gluten-free, dairy-free, peanut-free, nut-free, safe-to-eat raw. And these are vegan cookies. It is hella dark, I apologize. I wasn't really ready to do a video. I just got through eating and stuff. So this is real cool. I'm gonna put these in my fridge and have these later. But this is manufactured in New York City. So I got a couple new desserts to try. <clears throat> I also got some cream because I don't like almond creamer, and that's what I have, vanilla almond. I don't like vanilla, I don't like almond. So, I mean, I, I drink it if I have to, you know, if there's nothing else, which there was really nothing else, it's cheaper. But I got went to Target and got this here, and uh, this is pretty good, it's oat milk creamer. I like oat milk over anything else. Yo. Oh, shit. Excuse me. Yo, I have this sick cold farts, and... That's just going to stink so bad. <clears throat> like, I poop a lot, I fart a lot, and it's really hot farts. And, poof, shit. Smells like, like, shit. I mean, like, food or something. I don't know. But I'm sick, so it's, I hardly ate anything today. I just ate, like, rice and stuff for the first time. I could barely, I, had, I barely had an appetite. <sighs> so this is sweet and creamy. And this is plant-based creamer. It's a small one. It's like $3 for this at Target. So, that is uh, all I got. Oh, y'all. I went in there, right? I found these for like $10. The ColourPop. I'm not really big on ColourPop, but they have it. And I was trying to find a new L'Oreal lipstick. Um, they have a new lipstick um, that they launched. So, I found this ColourPop. Super Shock Blush, and it's like very, very, very pink. It's almost purple looking. It's a little vibe. But not that any of you guys will care, but some of you girls. This is like, it almost looks like the Juvia's Place um, blush. So that's hella pretty. And then I found this ColourPop Blue. Because I'm like, I don't have blue eyeshadows. But this is Blue Velvet, and I thought it looked so pretty. And then the lighting will always fuck you up, like... When you go in the store, it always makes it look so much prettier than it actually is. So, all right.
that is all I got. We got a couple coffees, like the cold Starbucks coffees or whatever. So yeah. Um. Oh. So let me put this stuff away. I'm gonna go pee real quick, and then I'm gonna show you guys something else really quick. Okay, hold on. Sorry guys, I had to. Um, I had to. Yeah. I'm gonna take this off. It's been so fucking cold. Which is probably why I got sick because like my body, I just been working, 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 working and it sort of takes a, um, oh God, it takes a toll on my body when I'm just constantly working and uh, it's just, I hardly have time for myself. You know, I try to take care of myself as much as I can because I am a priority, y'all. We all are. You're a priority. I'm a priority and so forth. So... I definitely need to wash my hair. See, darling. Don't ask me why I say that. I just say it. So, supposed to have a girls' day on Saturday, which I need that day off. I've been working Saturdays and Fridays, so um, so I went to this Thai place with my friend that <clears throat> went to before with. I took my mom and my nephew. And we ate Thai food. Um, what I like about a lot of Asian food um, is they have vegetarian options, um, vegan options. You know, because in like different countries, people do eat tofu and <clears throat> tofu. Even like if I eat Chinese food, even I don't like it because it's deep fried. A lot of things, but I like spring rolls. Like spring rolls are one of my favorite things. But <sighs> I always had the preference of eating the spring roll with just vegetables. Um, like, I always would, like, minimize the meat or, like, Mom, minus the meat. Just give me, like, veggies. And, yes. So, I got a couple. I had three. I ate one. But it gave me they gave me, like, a peanut sauce type thing. My nails look bad. Okay, I'm going to look at this now. So, earlier when I went, I had Bella and Precious in the back seat, right? Well, Precious decided to take a shit before we went today. I got off of work, and I had to do a couple of things, and I ran home, um, <clears throat> used the bathroom, changed my clothes, got my dogs. Bella's barking her head off, and then she runs away from me outside, and then I have to go and grab her when she gets scared of the neighbor dog that's chained up. And she, like, got scared and came over because she don't like car rides because, okay, I found a way to make her shut up and quit barking. And she used to constantly bark her head off and she jumps at the back window. She's like, hur, hur, hur. And then everybody's like, we thought that was you the whole time making that noise. I'm like, no, that's her fucking scratching the window and going crazy, throwing a temper tantrum. So, um, one of my friends, I had, like, a couple of my friends with me. And they were like, uh, Precious just took a shit. And I'm like, okay, and... And they're like, it's all over her butt hairs. Guys, if you guys get Pomeranians or if you own a Pomeranian, you know. Um, you have to keep them trimmed and you have to constantly brush them. Um, keep their butt, butt hole, keep their butthole hairs trimmed. <clears throat> and um, make sure that it's clean back there. Because I had to like pull it off with tissue she had shit stuck on her butt hairs because she has like mc hammer pants like can't touch it you know <laughs> like huge butt hairs and i'm like fuck so um she actually i had to go inside like three or four times and i had to get like a wet rag then i went back in and got a wet rag with her doggy shampoo and then i like had another wet rag and i constantly clean i put gloves on and clean it well, one of the girls decided to take a shit in the back of the car when we stopped, when we got to our place where we were going. And I'm like, what does that smell? I went to Starbucks and my friend's like, that's just uh, the coffee that smells like that. And that was the only one I got coffee and express. I'm like, maybe you're right. Maybe it's the bugs that poop or whatever. You know, <laughs> I just making that shit in my mind. I'm like, no, my dog shit. My dog really did shit. <clears throat> I was getting out to give him some water. And when I went to the back, there was a big fucking turd on the blanket. So I have to wash the blanket and I had to go and pull around the fucking building to the place we were at. And I had to go and throw shit in the goddamn grass. Um, I know that's terrible, but 
it stunk so bad and I was so upset. So yeah, and then I went to Target and then it just smelled shit all the way to Target, all the way to fucking the Thai place and then I came home and yeah, so I was just like, damn, I told her she had a fucking blowout. Precious had a fucking blowout twice. And my friend was holding her like this and her ass was up in the air. Ew, my elbow looked crusty. Look at that. Ew. So I was like wiping her butt. And she's just in there like this. And you know, I'm just like, what? So she fucking shitted everywhere. OMG. TMI. TMI. I know. I don't mean to talk like that, but it is what it is. I, I don't say appropriate enough things. I love this. Tofu. Now, you guys probably think tofu is disgusting. It's not disgusting if it's made correctly. And this is them actually made correctly. So, <clears throat> they put it in like a plastic wrap. I feel like I have to fart. And I don't want to fart because it stinks really bad. <sighs> I'm already full. But, you know. Oh my god, you guys. Excuse me. I fault it's so bad. Ooh, that shit stank. That shit stank, stank. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. I am so sorry. That is disgusting. I know I'm disgusting. I'm sorry. I farted. I farted and I'm sick and it stinks really bad. But I can't help it because I I had to fart. I'm human. You know what's so embarrassing when you work a normal job, right? Like, you work a normal job and you go to work. You know you have a YouTube channel. And what's really embarrassing is when there's people that actually watch your channel and they're subscribers or they're like um, supporters, fans, whatever you want to call it. And then they're like, I saw your part. And then they sit there and they stare at you like, you're like, dang, like. Appreciate your support, but please just don't come to my job and stare at me. Mm. So this is the spring roll. It's the first fresh spring roll. Mm, it's got like the wrap on it. See? And you can see like the pieces of tofu. It almost looks like chicken, but it's tofu. Oh. Hmm. Mmm. Mm. This is probably like my favorite thing. There's something about it, like, it's just so good. Mmm. Mmm. Hmm. My mom always says, don't talk with your mouth full. <clears throat> so, I don't know anybody else that likes tofu. I'm like the only person that I know personally that likes tofu, actually enjoys it. I'm going to show you. Tofu. Hmm. Why you can't see it that good? Fried. Tofu. It's like a chicken texture. It don't taste like chicken at all. It kind of tastes like a rubber. But it's really good. Especially with the sauce. Mmm. Mm. A lot of food that I eat though. Um. This is a by choice thing. I'm gonna tell you guys. I don't like dairy, um, because it makes me sick, and it used to always make me sick. Um, but I mean, I like like okay, I like certain types of cereal. Like I mean, like cereal that's like granola and pumpkin seeds. And no, I'm not saying that because oh, it's a healthier choice. No, but that's a great thing. That's a healthier choice. 
But I have more of a taste of granola because I eat it with yogurt. I eat fruit and granola with yogurt. Um, I have to have my milk. Sometimes I use milk and I use like organic sugar. If I, I have, rarely use sugar at all. But if I do, it's the organic, raw, whatever, sugar. And um, <clears throat> I have like a very bad um, reaction when it comes to dairy. Um, so I try, I don't even consume milk at all. I try not to. If I do, it makes me very bloated. It makes me very sick. It makes me very miserable. Um, I get like diarrhea. I get like really bad gas. I get stomach cramping. I get bloating. Um, I feel very like sluggish. And that's just my body's natural reaction. Like basically runs in my family. So they're very lactose intolerant. Um, I've never been diagnosed or been told I was lactose intolerant. But I just feel like from my symptoms, I am probably lactose intolerant. Um... I, so if I want yogurt, I get non-dairy. If I want creamer, I get non-dairy. If I want milk, I get non-dairy. Um, if I get cheese, I get non-dairy. But I don't really care for cheese or butter or milk or any of that. I mean, of course, it makes your food taste better. But I'm trying to minimize that as much as I can. Like, cheese, now I'm starting to get to the point where I'm just like, cheese is so gross. You know what I mean? Like, it's just bleh. But, like, I can eat, like, a grilled cheese, like a vegan grilled cheese or whatever. Um, so I don't know when I eat like, like, I don't, it's just like a thing, you know, like you eat things, you don't realize that they're healthy or it's good for you. Like, Oh, you know, I eat non-dairy. I never realized and looked at it. Like it's a health benefit. It's good for you. You know what I mean? There's no cholesterol. There's no fat and all this, you know, low in sodium. So until I hear people that have like health issues, God bless them. <clears throat> But when I hear people talk about it and they say they can't eat cheese and they can't eat like um, certain amounts of this or that, I'm like, I never really thought of that. You know what I mean? Like, I never thought of that. Like, not really. But sometimes I do think about it because like certain family members and stuff have health issues. But yeah. Hmm. Oh, oh man. Look at that to my dog. She likes tofu. I think she can eat tofu. I'm going to look it up. Um, so, I get non-dairy cheesecake, which I'm going to eat later. Mm, I have eggs, but they're, like, not real eggs. They're, like, dairy, uh, non-dairy eggs. Like, I always liked eggs and stuff, kind of, but they always made me sick. Um, they would make me, like, almost throw up. Like, I'd almost vomit when I would eat eggs. Um, make me bloated, make me... Made me gassy, very, very, very gassy. I would feel like I'm gonna vomit. Um, all day I would be sick. I would have like the worst, nastiest burps. It was uh, so I can still enjoy eggs, just you know, they taste the same as non dairy. And I used to make a lot of um tofu eggs or eggs out of tofu, so that makes sense. Okay, so yeah, mmm. And then, people that know me, a lot of time, it's easy for me to go to an Asian place and order tofu rather than, <clears throat> you know, people that don't really like it or support it or think, you know, think it's stupid or whatever. But not to say, you know, do you have bad reactions to certain ingredients or food you know so i definitely try to limit my salt intake and all that my sodium even though i have normal blood pressure you guys know i'm medicated because i've had other health issues in the past that i'm still dealing with for the rest of my life so i have to kind of be a little healthy you know and yeah y'all i'm starting to feel a little bit better now <clears throat> like everything is running out now I feel good now I mean, it lasted for like a day maybe like a day yeah um I, I need to finish this this is so good you guys gotta go get fresh spring rolls and try them like it's hella fucking good but um 
I don't eat burgers. Mm. Veggie burgers, yes. One time I got food poisoning really bad. I won't ever burn meat for me. And then, mm, my mom, mm, my mom, um, so this one's a lamb. Sorry. So, um, sometimes people make fun of me because I tell them I'm, I'm vegetarian, vegan. Um, and they laugh and stuff. I mean, I don't take it like offensive. You know what I mean? It's just funny because you know you don't know a lot of people that are. Um, so, I mean, it's kind of funny because, you know, like my mom, like my mom eats meat. Um, she, she doesn't really eat cheese though. Like, I don't think my mom, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, wrong mom, but I don't think that I eat a lot of dairy. Well, she eats eggs. Um, she cooks with milk, um, like low fat milk. And I don't think she eats a lot of cheese though. Um. But they do eat meat. My brothers do eat meat. My one brother, my older brother, was kind of a vegetarian, slight vegetarian on that side. Uh, eat more healthy or lean. Um, my other brother don't give a shit what he eats. He eats zebra cakes and shit. <laughs> like, he eats zebra cakes and... Well, when he comes to my house, right, I cook. Like, I actually cook. Like, I make good food. And a lot of times people don't even realize they're eating a very, very healthy meal. Um vegan but not even vegetarian vegan like non-dairy lentils uh freaking bean sprouts and shit and they don't even realize the whole meal was vegetarian there was no dairy there was no cholesterol there's no nothing in it and then they're just like what that was hella good you know and I, I don't tell nobody what it is and then afterwards they're like damn now i can see like i'm like bitch just because you're vegan don't mean you're starving like you we fucking eat don't we? Y'all vegans out there, you guys know we eat, right? We do be eating. People think we fucking starve ourselves and we eat grass all day. Hell no. I'm a thick girl. Like, I'm thick. I'm tall as hell. And I try to be healthy, you know what I mean? So. And then my friends are laughing at me and shit. And then I say, here, try it, you know? Or they try something they may eat something I make. And they're hella shocked because they're like, damn, like, that is fucking delicious, you know? But they're not going to go and spend the money. They're not going to put in the time and effort to, you know, to do it. You know, it takes a, con it's like, it takes a very dedicated, consistent person to keep up with a lifestyle. I just feel like <clears throat> if you love yourself enough, I mean, if you truly learn and you truly know yourself and you love yourself and you value yourself and your health and your body in your mind and you know your soul could be happy you know what i mean like once you fully love yourself and you fully accept yourself and you you take care of yourself and you give your physical body the nutrients and the nourishment that it needs and the love and the care that it needs your soul will be healthy and your soul will just be happy and it can rest you know what i mean like not dead but i'm saying like You'll be able to, you know, just, you know what I mean? Just peaceful. And, yeah. And I have pets, so. Well, I look at my pets, like, very tender, like, like they're my children. And I think, you know, like, I love them. And would I hurt them? Would I eat them? I mean, I might joke. I joke. And I carry my little dog, Bella. And I'm like, um... I pick her up and I hand it to my mom or somebody said, you want barbecue brisket grilled or fried? You know what I mean? Like, and she just sit there like, she's like this, like she comes forward and I'm just like, you know, I joke and shit, but I'm like, you want a pound of bacon? You know what I mean? Like you want a double quarter pounder with cheese and Bella just looks and I'm just like, I would never do that. You know, 
I rarely go to McDonald's and I rarely ever get food. I don't even, I hate McDonald's fries, first of all. They have the fucking terrible coffee a lot of times. Um, sometimes it's okay if they make it fresh, you know what I mean? And I'll drink it. Uh, they need more um, non-dairy options, though, at McDonald's. You know, but at the same time, if you're vegan, you're not going to want it if it's cooked on the same grill or fryers. Something with meat, you know, so people have different beliefs. Uh, basically, I'm just explaining to you guys my thoughts, other people's thoughts, and why I am the way I am. And it's a by choice thing, but it's also just because I kind of gravitated towards that because my body, I listen to my body. The older you get, you're going to learn. You're going to listen to your body. But I was in my 20s when I was vegetarian. Um, I ate healthy when I was a teenager. Um, I was a vegetarian in my late teens, early 20s. And then in my 20s, most of the time, I was off and on vegetarian. Then I, in my, my late 20s, I think I went vegan. Or mid-20s, late 20s, went vegan. And now I'm in my early 30s. I'm 34 years old. Um, a lot of people say I don't look 34. People say I look a lot younger than what I am, but hey, it could just be, you know, genetics. My mom don't look very old. Um, my mom's 60 almost. She does not look old at all. Um, and it could be like, um, my lifestyle because I don't party. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't do drugs. I don't, you know. Try to take care of myself, you guys. It's very important. If you're in your 20s, make sure that you're making lifestyle changes because by the time you hit 30, trust me, it comes fast. It comes very fast. And you're going to want to like, do things to prevent yourself from looking a lot older. And look at this zit on my nose. Oh, my lanta. So, yeah. I need to go do some stretches and do my laundry. And look at this. Oh, I got tons of brushes in my kitchen. I got these brushes right here. Um, I need to do my nails. I need to go get my dogs some food. Um, they love chicken and stuff, you know. So, anyways, I kind of tinkled on myself a little bit. But I'm going to have one of my friends try. I'm going to actually get more spring rolls and I'm going to have people try it. I'm not going to tell them what it is. I'm going to tell them what is chicken spring roll. These are fresh. And then they're going to taste it. And they're going to like it. And they're not even going to fucking know it's tofu. Because let will tell you. Look at this. This is, looks like chicken, right? It looks like chicken. Can you fucking tell? Asian people. No offense. Asian people, y'all make the best tofu. I love you guys so much. Because you, you make me want to eat healthy. You make me so skinny and so sexy and so beautiful. And you guys keep me looking young. And keep making that bomb ass tofu, and I'm gonna keep buying it from y'all. So, anyway, I'm gonna go. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Think about, you know, think about making lifestyle changes now. Wear your sunscreen, change your eating habits, drink more water, do your exercises, do your stretches, get your fucking rest at night, um, lower your stress levels. Because, you guys, life goes by so fast. So, so I want to let you guys know that, okay? So, guys, I'm going to go now. I feel better. I'm going to go drink some more orange juice and do my shit, okay? I love you guys. I will see you soon in my next video. I'm going to upload this probably tonight. It'll probably be posted up by Wednesday or late Tuesday night. And I'll be back with another video. We're almost at 4,000 subscribers. By the time I post this, we're probably going to be at 4,000 subscribers. because so we're at 3,999 subscribers. So, guys, I love you. God bless you. Thank you. Take care. See you soon. Bye.